hi everybody and welcome to my channel and a happy 2021 to you and your family as you've seen by the title of this video i'll be discussing eight things that i'll be implementing this year for a successful 2021 so number one on my list is waking up early this year i'll be joining the 5 a.m club i've already bought the book uh, from robin Schummer, so i'm going to read that in order for me to understand more um about starting my day early as well as the benefits of it i've heard and seen great reviews um about it as well as people that i look up to and everyone has vowed that it has really transformed their lives working up early because that helps you start your day early when everyone is still asleep and it's just quiet peaceful and still you get to talk to yourself you know structure the day see how you're going to do task a b c d f g and if that doesn't work what else are you going to do and you can only achieve this when everyone else is still asleep okay not everybody else but when most people are asleep because you hear your thoughts better your thinking is even better i mean i can attest to this before even starting with the 5 a.m journey most times i wake up around four ish five ish and i've noticed that's when my mind is working the best because it's still it's quiet i'm listening to the decisions that i'm making in my head and listening to the things that i'm thinking about and that is where i get enough room to make adjustments um and be ready for the day number two prioritize your health whether it's mental health it's emotional health it's spiritual health whatever it is as long as it is directly speaking to your um, healthy well-being prioritize it for me i struggle with um weight so many times i've attempted to try diets exercise but then i've fallen off the wagon this year i'm going to prioritize that and i've picked up um times during the day where i know my body is most strong and most uh effective and ready <laughs> so in the mornings i know that if i go to gym in the morning i'll do most stuff and i'll be i'll come back feeling more energized whereas if i leave it for later in the day i might even end up not doing it and i've also noticed that for me getting up um, of bed earlier and starting my task earlier it just sets up the tone it sets the tone for the day so your mind already knows that today we are working we're not being lazy we're not procrastinating uh, <laughs> there, there are tasks to do if i wake up a little bit later i'm already feeling sleepy sluggish lazy yeah and i might end up not doing anything that day so i'm going to prioritize my physical health if it's your spiritual health and your mental health just notice the people that trigger that about you notice how you feel when you're around certain people do not be shy and do not feel bad cutting people off do not feel bad um taking yourself away from situations and people that deteriorate your mental health please 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 this year be, be selfish about your health be selfish about your health i think um that's the best way i can put it be selfish if you don't know how to be selfish practice i don't know how to be selfish but i'm going to practice because at the end of the day there's only one me there's only one you and you need to take care of that number three base your day's activities or tasks on a positive adjective for example accountable or ambitious so if it's accountable you're going to tell yourself that whatever happens that particular day you're going to be accountable so you're going to sit down and assess okay this and this happened in this way how did i contribute to that situation good or bad because if it's good then that means you need to practice um more of that particular thing and if it's bad that means then you need to take a step back um reassess and come up with ways to do better the next time i struggle with always getting irritated by people getting agitated and i've noticed that in all these cases i'm always the common denominator so i've taken it upon myself that okay i need to be accountable let me assess 
my mental being let me assess my insecurities let me assess a b c d which makes me feel this kind of way when certain people behave um the way that i feel like is ridiculous or outrageous or inconsiderate or whatever the case might be and i've realized that I need to be so strong in my core, so strong in uh, how I believe in myself that I'm not shaken by how others view me, how others view my actions and how others view the way that I speak to them. I'm not saying that be ignorant um, and be dismissive when people tell you that, oh, you made me feel this type of way, but I'm saying that don't be easily shaken and don't be quick to take offense. Going to the second example, ambitious. So let that echo in your head. So whatever adjective, positive adjective you choose, let it echo in your head because it's going to remind you when the day gets difficult and hectic and things are just all over the place, you know, you're going to take a step back and remember that nope, today is the day where I'm ambitious. So whatever decision that I make, whatever is in my thoughts, you know, whatever is regulating my thought process, at the end of the day, it needs to speak to me being ambitious. Let me be bold. Let me be courageous. Let me put my best foot forward and show myself and, you know, show that I am ready for whatever comes. I can do it. I have the strength. I have the capability. I have the talent and I have the brain to carry me to do it. So the world is my oyster and I'll go for that. Number four, have a daily knowledge hour. So this is any hour which you're going to pick in the day where for that whole hour, you're making sure that you are doing something that directly enriches your knowledge as well as speaks to your wisdom. Most times we get trapped on social media. I can attest to this you get trapped on social media before you know it an hour is gone you're busy reading other people's news and whatever and whatever that is going on in the world some things just trigger you and then you're just off <laughs> for the rest of the day um i mean of course this is different to people who on their social media they are intentional about who they follow because they're going to be seeing news and um feeds of whatever it is that speaks to their knowledge as well as intelligence. But then if this is not the case for you, be intentional about what you're feeding yourself. So you're going to say this hour today, I'm going to be reading a book because that is going to feed my imagination. It's going to train my mind to think. It's going to train my grammar. Or I'm going to be looking for financial stuff to read or understand or research on because this is going to speak to my financial well-being for this year and making sure that I'm never operating um, on a place of lack or if you're struggling with relationships or mental health or whatever it is there's so many people on YouTube that are certified qualified that speak on these things every day and you can look up for those people and you know watch videos that are going to help you navigate your emotions better as well as understanding how you should present yourself to people or even when to distance yourself from people when you're not feeling okay or if you're feeling like something is amiss about yourself so this year we are intentional about being better we are intentional about you know putting our best foot forward because we cannot pray for things or attest to having a b c d or have vision boards about achieving one two three and we're not putting in the work you know, like they say, when, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. So let it be that any opportunity that comes your way finds you ready. You know, it finds you ready because you've done the, the work, you've done the groundwork, you are ready, you are prepared. If it's about a career, you know that I'm capable of A, B, C, D because I've put in the work, you know, I've enriched my knowledge, I've, I've enriched my wisdom. Number five having self-care days so this is a day where it's all about you you know <laughs> it's all about what you want that particular day if you wanna you know if it's your cheat day and you're eating good meals junk food whatever it is then let it be if it's you taking care of your body for me i love pampering myself i love trying out 
um, new face masks you know so I just do that scrub the rest of my body so just to feel good you know our body carries us um, during the whole week you know it, it fights with us whatever battles hurdles come our way during the week I mean it just makes sense for you to give back to it and acknowledge that yeah no skim we do fight <laughs> you know you, you carry me um, you've been there for me you've never let me down my brain you never let me down today it's about you take a break breathe breathe and, and recoup and be ready for the next coming days in the work so number six on the list will be uh, dedicating a day where you're giving back to others You've had a day for yourself and that's good but also have a day where you serve others a day where you make someone's day a day where you are intentionally kind I'm not saying that you shouldn't be kind um, the other days but on this particular day you know that you've done something for someone else which has helped them uh, feel better or do better or navigate um, their life better because at the end of the day that's what carries us Ubuntu the same way that you are kind to others you know that's the same energy you're going to receive back um, into your life and for me that is a worthy investment number seven plan ahead I struggle with procrastinating it's the devil that thing <laughs> and I've, I've realized that there's just no two ways about it the the first practical way for me to defeat procrastinating is planning ahead because that allows you to buy time if, if I can put it like that for example the video that I'm shooting now this is my second actually this is my third shoot of this video and it's because I've planned ahead first time there was just too much light too much glare it wasn't working second time i thought i found another perfect location still didn't work until i found this spot in my room and you know this angle is working and i can do this because i still have time ahead of this video being uploaded on youtube when we plan ahead it gives us the advantage of not feeling overwhelmed uh, when we do the task and not feeling like we're incapable because sometimes you find that you've given yourself a day to fulfill a particular task and then when that day comes you realize oh shucks it needs three days and then next thing you end up feeling like you're incompetent you feel like you're not good enough you know you're hard on yourself and that could have been taken care of had you planned ahead and been practical about um, the times that you give yourself to complete that particular task and the last tip on the list last but not least number eight is do not change your plans to quickly accommodate other people's plans Whew. i need to do that because whoo I, I've just spoken to myself I've just spoken to my core <laughs> and that's the reason why this is here um, I've noticed it never helps me and I'm sure that so many people out there will struggle with this you find that that you've said that today you're going to do a B C D this time that time that time and then your friend comes along hey buddy can we go for a drink can we go for lunch and you get excited because you're thinking oh food drinks or whatever it is you know sometimes we use um, that to escape from what we have to do and we're doing a huge disservice to ourselves because you'll tell yourself that you'll come back and do it by the time you come back you not even you don't know, want to do the task anymore you're distraught you're tired you're stressed you're irritated someone pissed you off <laughs> wherever you were and now when you come back you no longer do the task and then that task needs to carry over to the following day and the following day already has its tasks to do yeah it's a no no don't don't do that unless it's an emergency if it's an emergency yes it makes sense but if it's just things that can be postponed or reschedule rather do that than changing your plans and not accomplishing the task for that particular day i hope that you enjoyed these tips and you're going to try um some of them if not all of them uh please let me know in the comment section down below what things you'll be doing this year for a successful 2021 as well as what things will you be unlearning to make sure that you are 
better and ready and stronger this year if you found this video helpful please like it down below and if you've not yet subscribed i'd really really appreciate you subscribing and becoming part of the family do take care keep well and i'll see you in my next videos bye